Welcome. Uh, today we're going to discuss the functions and uh, how you write function libraries. Then how to associate your function library to the script. And after we're going to look at the difference between the function and subroutine. So VBScript has two kinds of procedures, subprocedure and the function procedure. So subprocedure is basically a series of fun statements enclosed by the sub and n sub. It's going to perform certain task but it don't return any value. Where the function is also a series of statements enclosed between function and n function. It also performs a task and it returns a value. So function libraries you can create using .vbs file and also you can create .qfl files. Those are the quick test function libraries and these are the VBScript function libraries. So there are the different ways you can generate them. So let's look at how you are going to create different functions and then how you are going to associate these functions um, within the function library and then how to call those functions in QTP scripts. So now I'm going to write um, different functions here. Say let's uh, quickly create the script. Okay, I'm going to record the script. Okay, I created a script for login and I'm going to close this application also. Okay, so close this application. And uh, stop recording. So this is how the script is recorded and now I'm going to create a function out of this. So I'm going to put function or in this case basically it is appropriate you can write a subroutine because it don't return any value right. So you're going to say sub login close and open brackets. So now you are going to write n sub here. Then similarly I am going to write one more subroutine and this one I am going to write um, the close app Then I put this end sub here. So this way just you are going to create the subroutines 
and then you can call these subroutines. You just copy these things, copy these two subroutines. into some text file right you can use the notepad and then you can save this as dot vbs file say file save and now we are going to save this file say dot vbs so you go to a particular folder the c some demo then you're going to create the file name something my subs okay so you're going to put this as dot VBS and then you're going because you are going to save this as dot VBS file you have to select all files here and then save it that suggests you once you create the sub functions you can save that as a dot VBS file which is nothing but your function library and now you can also create a shared object repository out of this so I explained in my previous videos how you can create the shared object repositories, uh, but I'm not going to talk any concepts here. But I quickly create the ob shared object repository. If you're not sure what is an object repository, you don't know the concepts, so you can pause this video and then watch my video on the object repositories. So now I'm going to create a shared object repository from this. Okay, so you're going to say file and then select export local objects. And you're going to save this into the same folder. Where did you save the function library? Just we save this thing also into the same folder. Okay, and then so you're going to name this as say login war. Then save it. So that way, once you save this file, then you're going to close this object repository. And now you're going to create a new script and there we are going to look at how we are going to associate this function library and then how to associate shared object repositories. So let's create a new test. Okay, so this is the new test and uh, you are going to associate now the function library, the one that is created and also you are going to associate the shared object repositories. So I'm going to say file settings And then go to resources. They're going to select that particular file. So I'll click on this plus green button and then click on this three dots browse for file button and you're going to select that particular file. So let's go to the folder. And now we are going to select the VBScript file. This is the function library. So now we get you want to maintain the relative path, say yes, and then apply 
and OK. Now we are going to associate the shared object repositories. Go to resources and select object repository. And then, uh, sorry, you are going to select associate repository, not the object repository. So resources and select associate repositories. And now we are going to select the repository file, the one that we created. So go to that folder. Demo folder. And then this is the war, shared war file we are going to associate to your script. Then, so you're going to select this action one and then associate. Click OK. So that's how you associated your function library and also you associated shared object repository to the script. And now if you display say available keywords, then you see both the test objects and also the functions. So these are the test objects that is coming from your shared object repository and these are all the function these are all the two sub sub subroutines that is coming from the function libraries. So now we are going to use which one you want to which which subroutine you want to use. Okay, I want to use login part. All you have to do is just simply drag and drop so that that subroutine is called. Similarly, I want to call close app. Just you can drag and drop. That's how you can use those subroutines in different other scripts. These are the reusable components. Okay, that's how you can create subroutines and then you can create the shared object repositories and then you can use them in different scripts. So we are going to look at the function part in the next video and then we're going to differentiate that time like oh, what, what is a function and then what is a subroutine. Hope you enjoyed this video and you got the concept like how you can create the subroutines and then how you can call those subroutines in the scripts. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Good day. Bye.